Minilaba. Welcome to this Myanmar lesson. My name's Harriet. Jimana me Harriet ba. In this lesson, you'll learn 18 very useful Myanmar verb phrases. So a lot of handy vocabulary today. Are you ready? Asentem pila. Let's go. To go to work. Alo toare. Alo toare. Alo toare. To continue to work. Alo se lo de. Alo se lo de. Alo se lo de. We put se before a verb to talk about continuing to do that verb. Alo se lo de. To have a good job. Alo gao shi de. Alo gao shi de. So, for example, we could say he or she has a good job. Thu ma alo gao shi de. Thu ma alo gao shi de. Can you say it? Great, well done. To have a university education. Tekato pinyaye shide. Tekato pinyaye shide. Tekato pinyaye shide. Tekato is the word for university. And it has some rather unusual looking spelling, doesn't it? But don't worry, just remember university is tekado. Tekado. Great. To have a good time. Pyozia gaonde a chain shide. Pyozia gaonde a chain shide. Pyozia gaonde a chain shide. Can you spot the word for time in there? A ting. Yes, that's right. A ting means time. Well done. To tell the truth. A ma a dying pyo piare. A ma a dying pyo piare. A ma a dying pyo piare. The word for the truth is that first part, a ma a dai. But notice that when we say it a little faster, the two a parts become very weak, the second one almost non existent. A ma dai. A ma dai in piare. Very good. To have diabetes. Si cho yo ga shi de. Si cho yo ga shi de. Si cho yo ga shi de. The Myanmar word for diabetes has a rather memorable breakdown. Yoga is the word for a disease or an illness, and si cho literally means sweet urine. So there you go, the sweet urine disease. See? Memorable, right? Okay, moving on. To have a back injury. Jo ma dan ya shi de. Jo ma dan ya shi de. Jo ma dan ya shi de. Jo is the word for back and dan ya means injury. So altogether we have jo ma dan ya shi de. To do exercise. Lei jing kan lo de. Lei jing kan lo de. Lei jing kan lo de. To be dangerous. An de ye shi de. An de ye shi de. 
安迪耶系列。安迪耶 is the word for danger. So in this phrase, we are really saying there has or there is danger. 安迪耶系列。To get to safety, to leave for safety, or in other words, to evacuate. Bacon ya go twet quare. Bacon ya go twet quare. Bacon ya is the word for safety, so bacon ya go twet quare is like saying to get to or to leave, to get to safety. Bacon ya go twet quare. To do the opposite. San Jim bet lo soundy. San Jim bet lo soundy. San Jim bet literally means the opposite side, or the opposite. So to do the opposite, San Jim bet lo soundy. To face or meet with or come up against difficulties. A cat came yazwa jo yare. A cat came yazwa jo yare. A cat came ya is difficulties, and in this context, joni is the verb to meet or face. Notice that the a sounds again are very weak, and the second a almost disappears. A cat came yazwa jong yari. You try it. Excellent. Very good. To maintain a positive attitude. A gal mien the bo ta go setain tari. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down a bit first. The bo ta is the word for our attitude. And the primary verb here is tende to maintain. And yes, set we met earlier, didn't we? It means to continue to do a verb. So altogether, to maintain a positive attitude, a gaumien the botago set tentare. Can you say it? A gaumien the botago set tentare. Excellent. Okay, to help other people. To cha tu dui go kuni pere. To cha tu dui go kuni pere. To cha is how we say other, and kuni pere is to give help. So let's say the whole phrase slowly. To cha tu dui go. Kuni pere. To help other people. Great. A little faster. To cha tu dui go kuni pere. Wonderful. Well done. All right. Next one. To do one's utmost to help. A tet nine zone kuni pere. A tet nine zone kuni pere. A tet nine zone kuni pere. So you can see the main part. A tet nine zone means to do your utmost, and so you could follow that with another verb of your choice. For example, the verb to try or make an effort is jozare. So how would you say, for example, try your best? Give it your best effort, or do your utmost to try. What do you think? How could we say that? Yes, you could say something like a tet nine zone jozaba. You try it. A tet nine zone jozaba. Great. Next one. To focus on the goal. Pandango ayon saite. Pandango ayon saite. Pandai is the word for goal, and ayon saite is the verb to focus. 
So all together we have Pandango Ayon Saite. Can we hear you say it? Pandango Ayon Saite. Very good. Here's a mini quiz. I don't know if you'll know this, but if we keep the same verb to focus, can you guess what this phrase means? Kokukube Ayon Saite. Haha, <laughs> yep, to focus only on yourself. Kokukube Ayon Saite. We try not to do that too much. Hooray, we're on to the last one. To achieve happiness or to be able to get happiness. Pyo shuen mu ya nai ne. Pyo shuen mu ya nai ne. Pyo shuen mu is happiness. And ya de is the verb to get or to obtain something. And we see our auxiliary verb nai, meaning to be able to. When we put it all together, we get to be able to attain happiness. Can we hear you say it? Very, very good. So, on that happy note, well done. You've got 18 new Myanmar phrases to play around with. Keep an eye out for our next Burmese grammar lesson, which will use all the phrases you've learned today with a new handy grammar structure. Thank you for joining me for today's Myanmar lesson. I hope it was useful for you and that you can get into using some of these phrases as soon as possible. See you again soon. Not the kaja yin, pian dui jame no.